Hello and welcome to Creating the Mind Now. Well, I'm going to be honest like I am most days. <laughs> I just recorded this whole long video and it all deleted. I clicked the wrong button, I can't seem to pull it back, but that's kind of life. Um, I was thinking that I could look at that, I was going to get, I was like, oh, and then I was like, well, maybe the video wasn't supposed to be posted. Maybe I wasn't supposed to have that topic. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go off on that rant. That's the way I'm choosing to look at it. So I guess we all come from different places when things happen. Like our experiences on things be very different because I know that if that happened to somebody else I know, they may have gotten a little bit angry about it. Uh, I was actually talking to my friend earlier today, Molly, about getting angry and how we get so, so pissed off about things. And she'll tell me, and she might even be upset I'm telling you this, but she'll tell me that, she's like, I just get so mad sometimes. Like, I really, like, it starts, like, my blood starts to boil, and I, I know exactly what she means. Like, sometimes I just get so angry. And she was telling me about how she couldn't get her... She couldn't get her what her uh, hose to work and spray outside. And she's like, I was just getting so pissed off. So I told her, I was like, well, the best thing that you should do, you know, is just breathe. Like, you know what I mean? Just breathe. And then maybe remove yourself from a situation. Because when we're that angry, there's no clear thinking happening there. Clear thinking goes right out the window. There's no, just nothing's happening. I've made some of the most impulsive decisions out of anger that I honestly... Had I been able to go back, I think, had I not been so angry, things would have turned out so much different. So my suggestion always is when you feel yourself getting that angry, or if you feel kind of like your blood start boiling, just take a step back. And if you're dating somebody who you start to get that way and you feel your blood start boiling, literally, just I, I gotta go. I gotta step back. I can't even, I can't even right now. And if you're with somebody who genuinely is in that relationship with you and wants to work things out with you and knows that communication is the best skill, they will. They'll allow for you to take that moment to walk away. And I think everybody in life now should start to take take the time for yourself. Take a step back or even just... Try it with me. Come on, but just... You'll even accomplish amazing things. You'll start to notice like things just kind of like flow a little bit better. You start to solve problems a lot quicker and faster because you're thinking clearly. You can't focus when all this is like blah, 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 and all craziness up in there. I was younger. I don't like to tell too many stories about myself because I truthfully don't know if anybody really cares about my own personal stories. But if you do, please comment below. I'd love to know. I, I sometimes wonder if I should share more of my own personal experience or if I should just continue to, to teach sort of what I've learned. I, I used to be a very extremely just off the wall kind of girl. Like, I didn't care what anyone thought. I didn't care if nobody liked me. None of it mattered. But I think the truth of it all really was, was that I, deep down, I really did care. I really did want people to like me. And I think that might have been the bigger problem, was that I was constantly seeking approval of others. I wanted other people to like me. And the more that other people didn't like me, the anger it made me, and the more anger resided inside of me. And I, I didn't even have this awareness that I was creating anger. I was choosing to be angry and pissed off all of the time. So I want to tell you now that when you feel that anger inside of you, to do three things. Three things. One, become aware of the anger that's there. All you need to do is just, all right, I'm, I'm angry. Two, stop literally stop the anger sometimes will get such your ego will get such a hold in you that it'll be i'm not gonna stop I, you've got to stop just stop even if it's for three breaths just stop and just and take the three breaths you can even take them quickly if you're that angry like but you will notice that your mind will literally start to slow down the anger will literally start to subside from you it's an amazing feeling because i know nobody wants to really feel angry and three, the last thing, accept it. Accept that you got angry 
and then move forward. Don't continue to justify and make sense for why you're angry. Well, he did this to me and he pissed me off. No, 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 no. It doesn't matter. Let it go. And the words of Anna. No, it wasn't even Anna. I can't even remember the other sister's name. Doesn't matter. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Just sing it. You'll always feel better. And that is my advice for you. Let it go. It's not that serious. And sometimes I'll be driving in the car and I'll be angry at my fiance for something and I'll hear my thoughts in my head like, I'm not even going to, I'm going to stay pinched on my butt. I'm not even going to talk to him. I'm going to spend this whole car ride and I'm not even going to talk to him. I didn't care. I didn't care. You know what? I might even go home and back up all my stuff. And then I will keep that thought, those thoughts will just go into like this incessant imaginary land of like me being pissed off. And then all of a sudden, like the convoys click on. It's like, Angela, you're, you're being kind of ridiculous, don't you think? And I'm like, you be quiet. And it's like, it's really not that serious. You be quiet. And I keep trying to shut up this other voice that's trying to just calm me down and make me happy. And then finally, after I've sat for a few minutes and I've just kind of had a few breaths, that thought kicks in real, real loud. And it's just, it overpowers it. And I'm not mad anymore. And the moment's back to like the happiness vaughn. I'm like, and I try to remind myself like, okay, Angela, remember this for next time. Remember this for next time. Let this happen faster. Because that angry anger inside you it feels like bleh, bleh, gotta go so in this video that is what I'm going to get through to you today you are going to sing let it go and just start to let things go let them roll life is really 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 short I mean not real short I mean it feels long to us but I mean we are not really honestly guaranteed tomorrow and in the past few weeks I've witnessed another death through another overdose back home my cat still hasn't come back. And I've really started to realize how short and how unpredictable things are and holding on to anything that doesn't make us feel good. We just gotta let it go. Elsa, not Anna, but Elsa, just remembered. So if you found this video helpful, please like and share and comment down below. I would really love to know your thoughts on these videos and let me know what else you'd like to hear about. Also, please subscribe, going the wrong way, subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to talking to you all again soon.